Both of these sides suffered defeat on match day one. Treviso collected a losing bonus at home to Ospreys and travelled to Parky Scarlets having made four changes to their starting 15, looking for a repeat of their Pro 12 win away to Scarlets last season. The home side have never started a Pro 12 campaign with back-to-back -back defeats and coach Simon Easterby welcomed British and Irish line John Davis back into the fold, although he started on the bench. Bind. It didn't take long for the home side to open the scoring, and what a try it was for the home supporters to celebrate. A really well-controlled scrummage set the platform before scrum half Gareth Davies made a truly brilliant break, catching the Treviso defence flat-footed and leaving a trail of green and white jerseys in his wake. Just three minutes gone, and Scarlets were 7-0 up after Steve Shingler converted. Great work from the man from Camarthen and the perfect start for Scarlets to this game. Seven. On 14 minutes it was try number two for the home side. Once again their scrum was in control. They won this one against the head and this time Davies only had to drop over the line for his and Scarlets second try of the game. Again Shingler converted and it was 14-0 before the quarter hour mark. Shortly before the break, both sides were reduced to 14 men temporarily. Alberto Di Bernardo wasn't happy with the way he was held up in the air. He seemed to aim the ball at Gareth Davies, who replied with a push to the face. Players from both sides got involved in a bout of pushing and shoving. After confirmation from the TMO, the referee David Wilkinson showed both men yellow. You have thrown the ball at an opponent. That's a yellow card offence. And you've also open palmed them, so that's a yellow card offence. Both of you are going to the bin. On the blow of half time, Tobias Botes kicked Treviso's first points of the game. So at the end of a low key first half, Scarlets went in at the break, 14 3 ahead. Four minutes into the second half, Steve Shingler put another penalty over to make it 17-3 and it looked as if the game was slipping away from Treviso, but the Italians then produced a moment of real magic. Great work initially from Botes on the wing and after his kick ahead bounced kindly, he fed Ludovico Nitolia who raced away for the try. A marvellous score from the Italians and one that kept them in the game. Adventurous play from Botes was rewarded and Natalia's first try of the campaign. When Botes converted, it was 17 points to 10. Welch nerves may have been jangling a little bit, but they were settled, no doubt, when Schindler landed another good penalty in the 56th minute to leave it 20 points to 10, and it gave a little breathing space for Easterby's team. On 64 minutes, Shingler knocked another one over for 23-10 and then completed the scoring with yet another successful kick in the 71st minute to put Scarlets into an unassailable 26-10 lead. There was a final fling for Treviso, who looked to have scored a late consolation try through Michele Campagnaro, but it was disallowed for a forward pass in the build-up. Disappointment for the Italians, who suffered defeat to Welch opposition for the second week in a row. Scarlet's first win as they prepare for Dragons next time out. Final score, Scarlet's 26, Benetton Treviso 10.